Pandit Govind Balab Pant, the 10th of September 1887 to the 7th of March 1961, was an Indian freedom fighter and one of the architects of modern India. Alongside Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Vallabh Bhai Patel, Pant was a key figure in the movement for India's independence and later a pivotal figure in the Indian government. He was one of the foremost political leaders of Uttar Pradesh then known as United Provinces and a key player in the unsuccessful movement to establish Hindi as the national language of Indian Union. Today, as a mark of tribute, several Indian hospitals, educational institutions and foundations bear his name. To honour his exemplary services to the nation, Pant received India's highest civilian honour, the Bharat Ratna, in 1957. Early life Govind Balab Pant was born on 10 September 1887 in Kunt village on the slopes of Shayahi Devi Hill near Almora, in a Brahmin family having their roots in Maharashtra. His mother's name was Govindi Bhai. His father Manarath Pant was a government official who was constantly on the move, and hence Govind was brought up by his maternal grandfather, Badri Dutt Joshi, an important government official locally, who played a significant part in molding his personality and political views. Pant studied at Allahabad University and subsequently worked as a lawyer in Kashapur. Here, he began active work against the British Raj in 1914, when he helped a local parishad, or village council, in their successful challenge of Kuli Beegar, a law requiring locals to provide free transportation of the luggage of travelling British officials. In 1921, he entered politics and was elected to the Legislative Assembly of the United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. In the freedom struggle Known as an extremely capable lawyer, Pant was appointed by the Congress party to initially represent Ramprasad Bismil, Ashfaqullah Khan and other revolutionaries involved in the Kokori case in the mid-1920s. In 1930, he was arrested and imprisoned for several weeks for organizing a salt march inspired by Gandhi's earlier actions. In 1933, he was arrested along with Harsh Dev Bahaguna Gandhi of Chokot and imprisoned for seven months for attending a session of the then-banned Provincial Congress. In 1935, the ban was rescinded, and Pant joined the new Legislative Council. During the Second World War, Pant acted as the tiebreaker between Gandhi's faction, which advocated supporting the British Crown in their war effort, and Subhas Chandra Bose's faction, which advocated taking advantage of the situation to expel the British Raj by all means necessary. In 1934, the Congress ended its boycott of the legislatures and put up candidates, and Pant was elected to the Central Legislative Assembly. His political skills won the admiration of the leaders of the Congress, and he became deputy leader of the Congress Party in the Assembly. In 1940, Pant was arrested and imprisoned for helping organize the Satyagraha movement. In 1942, he was arrested again, this time for signing the Quit India Resolution, and spent three years in Ahmednagar Fort along with other members of the Congress Working Committee until March 1945, at which point Jawaharlal Nehru pleaded successfully for Pant's release, on grounds of failing health. Premier of United Provinces 1937, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh 1950 Pant took over as the Chief Minister of the United Provinces from 1937 to 1939. In 1945, the British Labour government ordered new elections to the provincial legislatures. The Congress won a majority in the 1946 elections in the United Provinces and Pant was again the Premier, continuing even after India's independence in 1947. His judicious reforms and stable governance in the Uttar Pradesh stabilised the economic condition of the most populous state of India. Among his achievements in that position was the abolition of the Zamindari system. Also he passed the Hindu Code Bill and made monogamy compulsory for Hindu men and gave the Hindu women the rights of divorce and inheritance to ancestral property. His rich and judicious experience was sought in India's political capital. Pant moved from Lucknow to New Delhi to be sworn in as cabinet minister without portfolio in the Union Cabinet on 3 January 1955. Union Home Minister of India 
Pant served as Union Home Minister from 1955 to 1961. Pant was appointed Minister of Home Affairs in the Union Cabinet on 10 January 1955 in New Delhi by P.T. Jawaharlal Nehru. As Home Minister, his chief achievement was the reorganization of states along linguistic lines. He was also responsible for the establishment of Hindi as an official language of the central government and a few states. During his tenure as the Home Minister, Pant was awarded the Bharat Ratna. On 26 January 1957 for his selfless service as an independent activist, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and Home Minister. Death In 1960, he suffered a heart attack. He was treated by top doctors in India, including his friend Dr. Bidhan Chandra Roy, the then Chief Minister of West Bengal. His health started deteriorating and he died on 7 March 1961 at the age of 74, from a cerebral stroke. At that time he was still in office as the Home Minister of India. Mourning him, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, the then President of India was quoted as saying, I had known Pandit Govind Balab Pant since 1922 and in this long period of association it had been my privilege to receive from him not only consideration but also affection. This is no time to assess his labor and his achievements. The grief is too intense for words. I can only pray for peace to his soul and strength to those who loved and admired him. <laughs> Institutions and monuments Uttarakhand Mahaparishad is a Sosadi NGO at Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Topic. Family Gavind Balab Pant's son, Krishna Chandra Pant, was also a politician. Topic. See also K.C. Pant Isla Pant <laughs>